Rohini College of Engineering and Technology. I am Vitrivel, Assistant Professor, Department of Physics, Rohini College of Engineering and Technology. In this video, we are going to discuss about the cell phone reception. In this antenna, the incident electric field of the electromagnetic signal induces a voltage across the wires of the antenna. This induced voltage is then amplified and processed by the circularity in the cell phone. Now let us see working of the cell phone. We know the mobile phone as well as the cell phones are used in many ways, many fields. So uh, it is our responsibility to know how the mobile phone is working. Here we see the working mechanism of mobile phone. The low power signals emitted by the cell phone will be received and transmitted by the cell phone towers. The towers are also another type of antenna. The cell phone transmits one frequency and receives with other frequency. Here we see the cell phone tower diagram. Actually the signal is transmitted from one person to another person. In between these two persons, two mobile phone towers are used. Here we see let us consider one person considered as cellular A. Um, that person sends the audio signal by using the electromagnetic wave so that the audio signals are now converted into the electrical signals. These electrical signals once again converted into the electromagnetic waves so that the electromagnetic waves are transmitted from the person 1 and it is moving or traveling in a particular direction where the receiver is ready to receive the signal. Now the signal reached the mobile phone tower 1 where the signal is tracked and the signal again given to the MTSO that means mobile tower supervisor's office where the person receives the signal and he modifies the direction of the signal to the receiver's end. Now from the MTSO office the signal is again redirected and reached another mobile phone tower 2. Now this mobile phone tower 2 actually if you want to make a call from our country to a foreign country the mobile phone tower will be in that country. So there that mobile phone tower will receive the signal the electromagnetic waves and they change the direction as well as the giving um, the right direction to the signal to reach the receiver's end. Now the receiver has the mobile phone in his hand which has a receiver in his mobile phone therefore that receiver receives the mobile phone signal from the tower 2 so that he can easily communicate with this person 1. So in this way the mobile phones are very much used to um, communicate another person immediately. Now let us see the various applications of cell phone. The first one internet search or web browsing. So in old days we used the computers for the internet search as well as web browsing. But nowadays we are by the use of this mobile phone we can um, search whatever we need to know immediately by the use of the mobile phone. Uh, second the mobile phone calls we can immediately call from one person to another person and communicate with each other within the fraction of seconds third one the very important listening to music um, nowadays due to the tremendous technology in the field of internet or youtube we can watch the mobile phone watch the music whatever the song we want to hear we can listen the music by the use of mobile phone and the fourth one 
using social media applications if you want to know any message any what is a message or uh, incident uh, wherever in the world we can immediately identify or we can immediately know that fact using the mobile phone the time fact is very important one because we are we have the mobile phone with our hand therefore we can immediately contact them so finally or any person if he wants to send the photos or videos to another person they can immediately uh, send them within the short period so in this video um we have very much discussed about the various applications as well as the functioning of mobile phone thank you